All right, thank you, Tina. Yeah, the monsoon is providing us some much needed relief because we've been seeing extreme heat across the state all summer. Governor Hobbs declaring a state of emergency last night to help with local relief efforts. It comes just after we wrapped up a record stretch of 100 degree days here. Here's Ashley Paredes pushing for answers and breaking down that plan. It's scary and it's real and it's dangerous. And, you know, this should have been a heat emergency, I, I think, you know, in June. Austin Davis with AZ Hugs for the Houseless helps those living on the streets seeing firsthand just how devastating the heat can be for them. July was the hottest month on record. I know various friends experiencing homelessness who I personally took to the hospital for heat exhaustion. Governor Hobbs declaring a heat state of emergency on Friday after 30 consecutive days of excessive heat warnings in Maricopa, Pinal, and Coconino counties. People try to get out of the heat by coming up here to northern Arizona. And in fact, it has been record-breaking heat. Coconino County Board of Supervisors Chair Patrice Horseman telling us there have been two deaths directly related to heat in the Grand Canyon, along with increased calls for emergency response because of heat-related illnesses. I think it's going to increase awareness uh, to people who are coming up here in Coconino County to uh, take precautions, make sure they're hydrated, uh, you know, not be out there and hiking in the middle of the day. The governor's state of emergency makes funds available for relief efforts. These tents are now set in place as the state will be opening a cooling center here off West Adams Street Saturday morning on the Capitol Mall grounds. And they will open a second cooling location off West Madison. The order also includes things like identifying resource needs and providing funding help to the low income home energy assistance program. So why did the governor's office wait until now to declare the state of emergency. Their answer, there isn't really much precedent for setting a standard when it comes to heat-related emergencies. So they developed their own, which is 30 consecutive days of having excessive heat warnings from the Weather Service. We took this action to address the immediate needs on the ground for people, uh, while also kind of laying out a uh, forward-looking vision for what's the best way to address heat-related emergencies moving forward in a more systemic way. In doing that, a piece of the order is tasking their Office of Resiliency to lead an intergovernmental report with recommendations. Ashley Paredes, ABC 15, Arizona.